Welcome back. I am Steve Hellowell, and we are playing Alan Wake. Ooh, the box there. Let me get that. Yeah. Good. So, we came across here. We that fell down. We worked our way back up. There were many bad birds. Uh, we're still trying to get to the lookout. Still presumably pursuing the kidnapper and with Alice. So here, something, maybe. Well, there are things out there, but not the kind of things that I want. More hunting rifle ammo. That's real close. I don't care for that. Ow. No. I like it. All right. All right. Probably not actually worth it for what I got out of that, but we're okay. All right, let's push forward here. We're all reloaded on that. Don't. You don't need to. Ah. Uh, is there a light somewhere nearby? There is. Go away. Yeah. Alright. Now we've made it to Cauldron Lake, which you know. It's a bad place. It's where the Cthulian horror comes from. Uh. The eighth deepest lake in the world, Cauldron Lake, is a caldera lake formed from a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of the 1970s, and even the underground activity was comparably mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folk tales. It's a popular recreational area for the area residents. Thank you. The more you know. Big bridge is never a good sign, really. Da hey. Nice little rope physics wobble on it though. Oh uh, no. Why? Ooh, that's not good. Dodge that one. You done? Alright. Yeah, that's not cool. Alright, alright. He missed. That's good. Okay, we're alright. We're pretty good at the resource management at this point. So we're okay. We've gotten the swing of things. I'm going to reload this though. That was not cool with having big axe man behind me. Nothing over here. Okay. We push on. Oh. You know that means there's something hidden. This way, apparently. Ah. Beginning to wonder if that breathing noise actually comes from these. It always seems to pop up when uh, exploring one of these stashes. Is this? Oh, it's a page. I'll have a page. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn, but there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, 
Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Oh dear. Across the mountain ruins. Um. Ah, there we go. <laughs> That's a cliff. There's little backsies here. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice particle effect. This gust. This looks like a ruin. There's stuff here that I need. That is a very familiar sound effect. I heard a lot of that uh, in my Max Payne playthrough. Available now on YouTube, on this on the channel. Oh boy. I curse you, Thomas Zane. Tom, 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 Tom. I miss you, Tom. Talk to me on the TV. Breathing is back. Uh, checkpoint loading there makes me think there's going to be a fight. I have a lot of flares. 17 flares. I think I'm going to need them. And more. That is the benefit of the uh, the more modern video game, not having to stock me back up on supplies, just giving me regenerating health, etc. Giving me unlimited ammo. You shouldn't have to like this. This, this is clearly bad, right? Uh, oh. And they're everywhere, but that's fine. This is an excellent chime to teach me the joy of flares. This is a really making sure I know how to use this, but um, oh, I'm actually just gonna, yeah, I don't want to deal with it. There we are. Did pretty well. So if I hadn't yet learned, it seemed like too many footsteps, didn't it? If I hadn't yet learned that you need to use flares to manage them, like definitely making sure they're, though it has already done that much earlier, but maybe I'd forgotten. Okay, by the way, we have this mechanic. Another checkpoint. Okay. Then chilling back here. No. Seems like a place where you might put a note or a page. But not today. This way? Yep. Yeah. It is in the direction that we came. We were, came out of the room from. All right. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. 
Uh, maybe. Let's see the, uh, the old lodge. Ooh, page. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. That's... Yep. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Yeah. He could be trying to do the right thing, though. Or he could be... League. The darkness. Or part of the darkness. Wait! Are you? Wait! Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! Uh, no! Get away! I'm sorry! Please, lady! The boss didn't know who he was messing with! I didn't know! I swear, I didn't know! We don't have his wife! We don't know where she is! She's probably drowned! You just said we had her to make a play ball, you see? You see? We got him writing for us! Please! Please, oh, I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. Oh, oh. Curious. That's a nice shot though. Don't drop that, you need that. Don't do it, Alan. What is our recap going to give us? Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her yep. Just saw that. Not by the dark presence before it attacked me. you a sedative don't fight it I... you went through another rough period what right now it's very important that you stay calm we don't want you to have another episode you're a patient at my clinic mm. have been for a while now the shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness no you're you lie you're suffering from various Earth. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. go. go, 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 go. <sighs> I felt groggy. Here we are. And it bumped in me and was making me numb. Whoa. This was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Well, Alice is getting a chore and she wanted me to write. Good evening, Alan. 
Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Why, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Sure. Let's go. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. That this springs. Way, I wonder what that is. I don't recognize it immediately. It's probably something. Anderson. Nope. What's around here? Oh, that's 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 something. It's a nice bear too. Into the bear. Nice bear. Doesn't seem trustworthy, does he? Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can. It's nodding incessantly. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable a, state. Looks like we've got a blur happening because the elder is actually moving. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations. Maybe the, uh... Paranoid delusions. Unusual thinking. The blur is taking into account motion, not relative motion. A feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. Yeah, but you're part of the problem, Harlan. And supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Nice stare run. Am I allowed to go ahead of you? Yeah, probably. Checking it out. Scoping the joint. Checkpoint. Nice sundial. This view out to Cauldron Lake. We're in blow where it gets way more intense. It's a weird artifact. I have to check, uh, see if the same thing happens on newer it's all methods. Your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. <sighs> I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? It's a good view. The lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Yep. Yeah. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. That's well, because someone uh, wrote it. This way. Follow me. Do you... Alan, what I'm telling you is either don't understand what you're messing with control every time you have a real or you're being manipulated it's more, more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination not surprising considering your profession imagination is what you work with 
But it's how he shows you what he's working with. This should come as an immense relief to you. Oh, if okay. it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. Yep. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. To work with I mean, once you accept that, maybe it's a metaphor. Begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. Scary, you were impressed scary, by my trophies scary. when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, <laughs> man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, why aren't you in this guy? That's right, I got you. Got you Emerson. good. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, no, I don't. Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. Hello. La, 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 la. Okay. La, 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 la. Elbow strike. La, la, Ooh, yeah. La, 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 la. I'll get him. And you? Hello? No? Nothing? Okay. Alan, please, this way. Now, uh, okay. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel That's up, nice. you should continue. Read. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' needs for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged in their creative process. Ooh, be patient! Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement Therapy TM and its sister method, the Flow TM, work best when they're actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them! The exclamation marks are weird. My room Yay! Is killing me. There's a storm coming! Oh, what a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the and Night Springs brothers, board game. Odin and Tor. They had a how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. Yeah, they dedicated After the band broke up. They lived on a farm nearby. They are well in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Something left its mark and you know that, and it's not I'm rock and roll. I'm sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. No. For the best. Don't you think? Also, you know where there's a storm. There's a person painting one outside. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. 
Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Okay. Return to your room. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, that seems bad. The Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula, local ingredients, medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like. Moonbeams on the brain. Ah, oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. <laughs> Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you, too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better mm. off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Light me shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong just ask the lamp lady she knows what happened to that other rider she's been using you boy and you let her you went and opened the door for her didn't you now now it was already open a crack and whose fault is that we're more <laughs> corrupt disease ridden old and stupid doesn't mean he had to open it all the way god damn it so tired built the farm close to the lake a place of power we had parties there man you you should go there and have a party I will I will go there and have a party through the app through the window hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head, 15 stitches of the concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. Bad scene. This person's still putting these f f fine touches. <laughs> so tired. All right, let's go back to our room. I'll, I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll come back later. Okay. Check if there's anything else open on the way back. Bad dream and you can't wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagination. They're only in your head and they're not there when you wake up. So you can't wake up because I'm in charge now and I don't want to disappear. My nightmare is the publisher people who want to make a contribution so they can say they made a contribution. And then we end up with <laughs> mullets in there because they think mullets are funny. But it wasn't supposed to be about mullets. And now it's about mullets. And when it's in slow motion, they call it mullet time because the numbers came back from marketing that mullet time is the hook we needed to go big target demographic okay. and they're not even kidding they say it all like serial killers with straight faces and smiles my nightmare is the writers who want to make everything from the characters to the toasters talk 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 <laughs> all the time and express their feelings so they won't shut up and the writers won't shut up either because they have feelings too and i have to listen to them because they're not scared of me and everyone should just shut up shut up Shut up! But I don't see nightmares anymore because I'm too scary for them. Mm -hmm. I take two pills every morning and one with every meal. Nice. Four when I go to bed. And mm. that makes me the scariest nightmare of all. Okay.
See the grading change? Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes mm. them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Uh, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. I probably will be. Thanks, though. If you could stop painting Taken, that'd help. Locked. All right. Uh, it's it's lovely, but you are killing people. Anyway, let's uh let's head back. Hey, wake! Why don't you humor Doctor Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, wake. Thanks for the directions, but don't think I want to make anything worse. Ooh. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered mm -hmm. in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. <laughs> lying to me, using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. Well, one of Alan's has had some realizations. And that's where we're going to leave this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, I've been Steve. I'm going to leave us a comment. Let us know what you're thinking. And I hope to see you again real soon. Bye.